Hey, Josh here with a webcam review. Well, right here we have something that I've been putting off for a long time, mostly because I'm not too crazy about the figure, but for some reason I keep getting a lot of requests to show this guy. This is Dirt Boss from Cybertron. Uh, anyway, uh, he's just a, a big purple and green and silver monster truck. The tires are a uh, translucent red, which prob not translucent, transparent actually, uh, which probably doesn't show too well in the video. If it had some backlighting in here, it'd probably be more apparent. But it's a dark red. Uh, it's actually the same color red as the uh, windows, but because there's a green plastic disc going through them, it's hard to get light piping through green plastic. So kind of messed up right there. Probably if you went in and removed these screws and cut the green plastic down, it would look more transparent. Uh, not doing that anytime soon, I don't think. Uh, anyway, that's how he looks just regularly. Uh, you put the key in the back, and his key gimmick is it goes from this real tall look down to a lower profile wider look for I guess higher speeds it looks more like the uh, the new muscle trucks more low slung rather than the real tall trucks that they had back in the day um, one other thing you can do is these green things right here they're held down by these uh, black clips right here if you just fold those down right there just like that and plug them back into the sides whenever you take and put the key in and it's gonna make a liar out of me whenever you do that then he's got stacks which I like stacks I'm actually you know if I didn't have the uh, full back on the forerunner I'd have stacks on it uh, the only other thing that you can do with this that I like doing and it's not official in any way, shape, or form. Is you actually part way transform him like that? Open up the bumper, and you've got a crab truck. You know, kind of pinch or whatever. It's just a silly little thing that I, I just like. Uh, really though, paint applications are pretty good on the truck. Uh, it does look good. It's weird-ish. You know, because I'm not much for purple. I, I just don't think it's that great of a color. Uh, one thing missing is the scoop on the hood right there. If that would have been painted silver, that would have looked a lot better. Like it is now, it just kind of gets lost in the sea of purple. Um, go ahead and start transforming this guy. The first thing you're going to have to do, and I'll tell you why in a second is activate the key gimmick and spread the tires out once you get that done go ahead straighten out the legs rotate it like that to where the black is up rotate that to where the silver on the legs is out and open up the bumpers again to make his little toes um, next thing you're gonna do is spread out his arms like that Fold them down forward like that. Put this block right here back, and that's the reason you have to spread the tires out because this is too wide to fit with them closed. And then flip out his head. Uh, I've already got the these right here that normally hold down the exhaust pipes down. So just turn the fists to where the holes are facing forward. And if you want to, you can give him his weapon, which is you activate the key gimmick again, and the guns flip forward, the gun exhausts. Uh, now, he's got a ginormous backpack, but as big as it is, there's really not that much to it. It's pretty much just that right there and that right there. Uh, he can stand just fine. I realize now, since I'm on my laptop, you can't see that but stands just fine, perfectly stable until I tilt that and he falls. 
Um. Uh, anyway. Uh, I don't know that I gave you a close-up view. He's uh kind of got a monocle like the. Uh, I forget his name now. I said it, it's to me, it's an all right figure. It is pretty well articulated. Uh, he is kind of a bear to pose just because so much of his backpack hinders posability. Uh, like I said, you can get him to balance, but there's only so many poses you can get him into without something hitting the back carriage. So, uh, he also comes with no gun, which, if that's a downside to you or not or whatever, uh, there's been a lot more of them coming without guns lately. Of course, this isn't lately, but, uh, anyway, uh, I'm gonna mildly recommend this guy, you know, well, no, I'm gonna give this guy a six. Y'all have a good day.